Hey Rob, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure, Dan. Rob, tell me what does Block Technologies do? Block Technologies is a publicly traded company. Uh, we focus on blockchain applications and investing in emerging technologies in the blockchain space. Okay, so this is not crypto blockchain, this is real world application and in what sector, what segment, what industry? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, quite different than cryptocurrency. What we're focusing on is the underlying technology in blockchain hmm. and building applications for uh, to meet business requirements and, and to business opportunities. So our initial focus is in the legal cannabis industry in hmm. Canada. Cannabis and blockchain. Cannabis Don't and say. blockchain, yes, exactly. Um, and we are building a supply chain management uh, ecosystem for the uh, legal cannabis industry. Hmm. So seed to sale type stuff. Exactly. So genetics tracking. Yeah. So verifying the uh, the transactions that are happening through the supply chain, initially starting with licensed producers, to make sure that uh, they're meeting regulatory requirements and that they have the ability to to track the flow of goods through uh, uh, in an immutable way through their system. And how does it make money? Uh, it makes money through uh, essentially processing fees that are uh, that are taken at various points along the supply chain whenever there's value exchange. Uh, and also, of course, because we're capturing a lot of data in the system, uh, we'll be monetizing the data as well. Mm -hmm. How much money have you raised to date for the company and what are your sort of build out costs for the next year? Sure, good question. So uh, to date, we did a small private placement of $1.6 million to complete the acquisition of uh, a company called Greenstream based in Montreal, uh, and uh, we are currently funding their development. They're in stage three of uh, five stages of development, and we'll be doing an, another uh, capital raise uh, in the coming uh, weeks as well to uh, not only complete uh, the, ap the application development, but also make other investments in the industry. Okay, and what does the revenue landscape look like going out 12 months, 24 months? Uh, very strong. So as you know, the legalized cannabis industry is uh, very much growing. It will be coming on stream here in July. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> exactly. Uh, it'll be coming on stream here in July. The industry is projected to do about $22 billion in revenue uh, over its first few years. And we'll be taking, uh, you know, a portion of that in our transaction fees. So, you know, our projections are very, very strong, growing into the hundreds of millions of dollars, not only in uh, the Greenstream application, but also other, uh, other industries that we'll be growing into uh, to develop supply chain management systems. Mm -hmm. So from where you sit, the valuation in all things blockchain and all things crypto, which at this point seem irrevocably intertwined, right. do you think there's a point in the future where real world applications for blockchain that are not involved with cryptocurrency such as yours are going to separate Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, as we've talked about uh, before, the, the cryptocurrency market um, is great for blockchain in that it r has raised awareness of blockchain. Uh, but it is only one application of blockchain technology. Um, cryptocurrencies, you know, are quite volatile. Uh, they're essentially, you know, a, a market where people are trading them back and forth. The underlying blockchain technology is really where, uh, you know, where the business applications are and where the long-term opportunity is in this market. Um, you know, just like the advent of the internet, um, you know, what came out at the end of that were companies that had applications that were able to monetize. Uh, and, um, you know, they were providing solutions to people that were operating, um, you know, that were utilizing the internet for their purposes. So with our uh, distributed ledger technologies, which is really what we're focusing on, uh, we plan to build out a product suite uh, that serves the needs of different industries that, um, you know, that have need for supply chain management, that have need for secure transaction processing, identity verification, these sorts of things. And that's really the true benefit of watching. Okay. A little NYSE listed company named IBM suggested to the British Columbia government mm -hmm. last year that they we're going to recommend that blockchain technologies are, you know, have a real world application and usefulness in the Canada right. space in BC. Is that somehow why you got involved with this? Well, actually, we were already involved in it before they mentioned it. But mm. when we read their white paper, their submission to the BC government, we were 100% in agreement. Uh, we believe that uh, the cannabis industry is a perfect application for blockchain technology. Uh, we were already down the road of developing the architecture for our technology. And in fact, you know, we've looked at the IBM Hyperledger uh, platform as a, as a stack to be able to build our technology on and have, you know, developed some working prototypes around that. So. We're 
we're in complete agreement with, with them around uh, you know, this being a, a perfect application and a perfect market to get into. And you know, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it was good uh, verification, I guess, for us that sure. we were down the right track. Right. Yeah. All right, that's a great introduction. We're going to leave it there for a little while, and we'll come back to you in a couple cores and see how you're making out. Thanks for joining okay, me today. Great. Thanks very much.